Hello, welcome back. Adjustable stocks. I've been fiddling with this gun now ever since I got it for the last four or five weeks. And there comes a point when you have to stop fiddling and you have to give it a few months to get used to it. So what have I done to the stock? The pad had an 18 mil recoil pad and I've bought a thinner pad, a 13 mil recoil pad that's shortened the gun by five mil because I was told the gun, the length of pull was too long for me so I've shortened it by five mil. I've lifted the stock, the cone, by seven mil. There's seven spaces in there, black and white, black and white, black and white, etc. And so now there's no more fiddling with the gun. If the gun doesn't hit the targets, it's not the gun's fault, it's my fault. And so I believe that how I've adjusted it and getting advice from other people, that my eye is now perfectly centred along the centre bead and the front bead, and now it's up to me to shoot properly because the gun is properly set up. And so with an adjustable stock, you can do a lot of uh, different... Uh, changes to the stock. When we want to alter the stock, we, with this little key we turn, we turn the screws there, it's a little allen key, and we turn that screw and the cone lifts off. And I've got, as you can see, I've got seven one mil spaces there. And so I can, if I want the gun to shoot high, I put more spaces in. If I want the gun to shoot lower, I take out some spaces. So that's the elevation of the comb, up and down. If the gun shoots left, and I want it to shoot, so if my gun is shooting left, I move the comb to the right. If my gun is shooting right, I move the comb to the left. And you do that by loosening these screws on these pillars and they loosen and then you can move them left or right each one so you just loosen that screw there on the pillar and then you can move those pillars left or right and when you do that you make sure that the flat face is there because the screw goes into it to hold the comb in place so that's an adjustable comb Add spaces to shoot higher, take away spaces to shoot lower. Move it right if your gun is shooting left, move it left if your gun is shooting right. And then once you're happy with your height, you just put the comb back on and it fits in there and you hold it in the center of the two pillars and we just re-tighten the screws. Just give them a little twist, make sure the screws are tight, and, and that's what you can you do with an adjustable comb. They are a good thing, but they can be a bad thing if we keep messing around with them all the time. We can't lift them one week, lower them the next week, because we're, otherwise we're never going to get used to, to the gun. So that's it, and it's going to stay like that for a few months. No more tweaking, no more fiddling. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.